Hello, this is Logan from Urban Dog Care, and we're going to talk today a little bit about muzzles, like the one that big boy Bruno's got on here. Bruno, come. Good boy. Sit. All right, this one is a Baskerville basket muzzle, and as you can see, you can still get your fingers in there and all kinds of things, which means you can give them treats, and they have a easiest time as possible breathing, um, more range of motion in the mouth, can still... Um, you know, use their tongue a lot. Um, but what it does is it basically just gives you an extra measure of comfort if they are reactive. Uh, and especially in the case of a dog, the size and breed of Bruno here, um, it's better to be safe than sorry since uh, unfortunately people are inclined to blame them for anything that goes wrong. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that if you see a dog in a muzzle, good boy, there's nothing to fear from them because Obviously, they certainly can't do anything, right? One of the biggest mistakes that people make is they'll see a dog in a muzzle and they'll head for the hills. But uh, actually, that's, you know, a, a, the perfect dog to be near because they certainly can't bite you. And it also means that the owner will be measured about what, what's going to set them off, if anything. Uh, and if you are a dog-friendly person, you might even want to ask if there's a way that you can interact with the person and their dog to maybe help them along in their training. Since uh, a muzzle is, you know, one of the, the best training tools since a dog's only weapon, really, uh, functionally speaking, is, is a bite. So, if you see a dog in a muzzle uh, and you're dog friendly and so inclined, uh, ask if you can help out. And if not, you know, give them a smile as you pass. Have a great day.